All right, guys, so I did want to dedicate this video specifically to the Donald Trump assassination attempt. We've got more details that trickled out last night, this morning, possibly the two-minute window where you've got the Secret Service counter sniper on the roof zooming in with his scope and not doing anything for two minutes, and there's some different reports talking about he had the authority to shoot, he didn't shoot, why did he not do that? I mean, right now the news is coming every minute. I mean, this is no homo, but this is huge stuff. Trump just hinted that the VP pick is someone that is not currently being talked about by the mainstream, hoping it's Vivek. It's been confirmed Trump's making his VP pick today. I'll give my reaction to that when it comes. I mean, it's like maybe four or five videos today. There's just so much stuff. Trump also tweeting about uniting the nation. He's taken that route. He had the initial speech prepared. I want to get to the, to the, the, the real stuff in this video. I just want to say this really quickly. He had his initial speech prepared. It was going to go at Biden. It was going to talk about him. But now Trump, it's all about uniting ever since the assassination attempt. He's changed his speech. And now Biden's a total afterthought. Biden is irrelevant. He's already a lame duck, even though he hasn't lost the election yet. Biden is already a lame duck. Trump's treating him that way. He's not relevant in the political sphere right now after what just happened. So Trump's original speech was about Biden. He's changed it totally. It's about unity. This is a huge three or four days. Trump's gotten win after win after win after win. The documents case is thrown away now. Trump might be up by 10, 11 points in national polls after the RNC, just pure popular vote. Biden versus Trump. I'm not kidding. This is crazy. Uh, we do have, let, let, let's get to the assassination attempt. They're saying that they can't access Thomas Crooks' phone, which I find just ridiculous. This is, and I know Apple has upgraded their security to where now they claim that because it's so upgraded and they want full transparency, that Apple cannot even override a device and access it. Uh, they're trying to claim that. I think that was like a few months ago I heard it. But Thomas Crooks' phone, this is a dude that came like a centimeter from killing Trump. The only reason Trump's alive is because he turned his head. I mean, we see all the different diagrams. We see the photo of the bullet whizzing past. You should be able to get in his phone immediately. Are you kidding me? He came a centimeter from, from killing Trump. This is ridiculous. Um, but they're saying, no, we can't get into it because, you know, Google has upgraded or excuse me, Apple has upgraded their, how they do it. Um, I guess in terms of them not being able to access and manually override phones to access them, things like that. Uh, I do want to find the stuff. Let me quickly look for it. This is just all the stuff about the documents case, but we do it. Okay, so here it is. This is a real-time assassination attempt on Trump from different angles with countdown footage from people warning authorities about the shooter. And so this is, I mean, I'm just going to let this play. It is. Right there. Right there. See him? He's laying down. See him? Yeah, he's laying down. So these people, they see the shooter. They've seen him for 18 seconds at this point. Trump is, he hasn't even, I don't even think he's gotten into a spiel about immigration yet and they see him. And this was already reported that people were saying, get Trump off the stage. This is ridiculous. It's Trump supporters who were in the back because the, the rally was so full. They said, there's no point in going up there. Let's just listen over, you, you, you know, the big, the big microphones. And so I'm here with you fighting like hell to get a Senate What's happening? And just make sure we take back the White House uh, because if we do, we're going to make America better than ever before. We're going to make it. Better. Yeah, look. And it's there he is. Easy because we have millions and millions Officer. of people. He's in moving. That should be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have drug dealers. We have people that should not be here. And it's much tougher than it is. He's readjusting his position. In recorded history, we're the best border. In fact, if they could ever put up a chart, I don't know if they can do it. Do you guys have access to that chart? That and this is what I was talking about. This is the extended version. I said this in my last video. Trump goes off script to talk about the immigration and the chart, and possibly that's the only reason he survived. He says... I don't want to do the teleprompters anymore. I want to go off script. I've got a chart that I like talking about the ridiculous illegal immigration under Biden, which everyone admits it's just so ridiculous. And it's actually underreported. It's even worse under Biden. That's neither here nor there. Trump is looking at the chart. He turns his head to look at it. And that's how the bullet nearly misses. There's a diagram showing it. So this is the extended version now where Trump goes off script during the rally and says, 
Do you guys have the chart? This is not on the script. I'm just asking if you can pull that up. This is a minute in. You've got Trump supporters. You've got the dude on video readjusting his position on the roof. He, he you know, he's at an angle. So this was fully planned. I mean, he wanted to try and hide himself. Um, you could argue that, well, they knew about it and they let it happen because it's just so ridiculous. I don't know what the, the security is like there. I said yesterday, if you were to if you were to scout the area, case the entire area as a secret service, you would say this is the prime time spot to try an assassination on Trump. It's on top of a roof laying down, the closest roof that's outside of the premises, obviously. I mean, if I was a Secret Service member, I would be more worried about possibly somebody blending in to get into the crowd. It's almost like it's so obvious that someone goes on a roof that that would not be secured. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. The dude shouldn't have even been able to get up there. It was reported that he was around the entrance, you know, looking, acting weird, doing certain things. And it was reported. They were like, listen, you got to watch this kid. And so all the Secret Service knew that. This has come out now. He was around the metal detectors, like right at the entrance, walking around suspiciously. They were already apparently watching him, but he still gets onto the roof. And then that's where the whole story comes out, that the local police officer climbs up the ladder, sees him, Crooks aims his gun at the local police officer, scares him, he gets down, and then Crooks shoots. I'm going to continue to play this, though. And I love so much. You don't mind if I go off teleprompter, do you? Because these teleprompters are so damn boring, I try and explain that. Oh, it is it? Wow. You guys are doing it. They're getting better with time. My guys, take a look at that chart. Take a look at the arrow in the bottom. See the big red, the red arrow, right? So that's when I left office. That was the lowest point, and that comes right from the government services. Comes right out of Border Patrol. Take a look at that. So that arrow is the lowest amount of illegal immigration ever in recorded history into our country. And then, and then the worst president in the history. And so he's still on the roof during this entire time. And this is a, well, this is a minute and a half after the Trump supporters said, screamed, he's on the roof. And there's been multiple interviews, people outside of the premises who were just listening, not watching to the Trump rally, they said, yes, we told him he's on the roof. It's over a minute. W what's going on here? You can say, well, it's 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 terrible negligence. You know, they shouldn't have done that. But, but this is, it, it's too raw. It's too ridiculous for Trump, who obviously needs top-notch security. And I know it's come out now. There weren't many Secret Service members there. You know, you can say your stuff about the DEI with some of the women just doing nothing. It's like a scramble for Africa. They're like twisting and turning. They can't holster their gun uh, when, when Trump's getting into the car. Another thing that was weird, and it was also mentioned, I'm surprised they got Trump up as quickly as they did. Um, that was my immediate thought when I first watched it, because you would think, I mean, if Trump just got shot at to where he's bleeding, they're, they're very likely, or not very likely, but it's, it's possible that there could be another shooter. So I'm surprised they just immediately said the shooter's down. Obviously, they killed the shooter pretty much right away after he got off, what was it, 8 to 10 shots? I mean, I'm sure this is all going to come out, but we're just piecing this together right now. It's a minute 45 he's been up there. I mean, you can see the shooter in this video early on repositioning on the roof at, at that angle on, on the side of it. Of our country took over, and look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit older, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you want to hear this, you see something that says... There, there, I mean, he's zoomed in, and, and he was zoomed in for over a minute. Let me see if I can find that video of just him. They've got someone, they've zoomed it in on just, I mean, there's two of them there. It's not just one. Secret Service, he is ready to go. He's ready to fire. I mean, at this point, he has to see. He's had to have been notified something. We're going to get a report. I get that. But but this is like, he, he's he's ready to go. I mean, I, I don't know what the delay is. He had, he had been zoomed in on his scope for over a minute at this point. It's two minutes since they called it out live. I mean, this is not some elaborate, crazy thing where you're like, my God, this kid's a genius. You know, this is just shocking. We're so thankful Trump survived. This is literally him waltzing onto the roof and taking two minutes to aim properly. And, and, and I guess there was a PD that he had to fend off and kind of aim at to get the, the, you know, that I talked about earlier, but still... This is crazy, and so this is when it happens. I think right here is when it happens, and I don't think 
I mean, I don't know, but if you watch the sniper, it does not look like he shoots back immediately. Now, maybe he does and I'm wrong, but obviously the kid does not die right... If he does shoot, the kid does not die because he gets off more shots and kills people in the crowd. He kills a person and then injures a few others. It seemed like he, the, the, the sniper was startled by the bullets. I don't know, maybe he did shoot one, but, but evidently it, it didn't kill the kid because he kept shooting after that because it wasn't like the kid just shot two bullets and then immediately died. Because otherwise, how would all the other people, not, you know, not be injured? They were injured. So, um, this is exactly when it happens. And I'm going to try and find that uh, that one video, but that's two minutes right there. Uh, you can see that this is talking about, and this is what came out yesterday. Quote, I'm hearing there are very few, I don't want to give an exact number, but very few actual Secret Service agents at that site. Many of them were Homeland Security. Many of them were like temporary Homeland Security agents or something. This is the aerial shot I'm sure everyone's seen. Again, it is literally the closest building. It is the closest building. And that roof was not secure. The clo I mean, obviously the sniper's not going to be up here. There's, there's secret service up there. So what is the realistic closest building? Sorry, I hit my mouse there. The realistic closest building to go up, if you're a sniper, it would be here. Like, that's why it's so obvious you would be more worried about people in the crowd. Like, if I was, you know, trying to protect Trump, blending in and then possibly getting off shots, this should be the easiest thing to protect. Protect. It's a kid climbing up with a rifle. And even Trump supporters and bystanders saying what's going on. Here's the graph that shows potentially how close Trump was. So he's he's looking to the to the right. He wants to look at the immigration graph. He turns. That's where that photo comes in, where the bullet comes whizzing behind him and clips his ear. Um, and, and so you can see he almost turns at a full, you know, fully. Another thing about Thomas Crooks, the shooter, everyone wants to know what, what is the motivation, the political affiliation. Libs immediately ran with him being a registered Republican. Apparently, he also made a $15 donation to Biden on the day of the inauguration in 2021, some people are saying, no, that's a different Thomas Crooks. It's someone a lot older. Why would a young person make that donation right now? Well, no, I do not believe both parents are registered Democrats. This was old though. This is what they say. They say the dad's a libertarian. The mom's a Democrat. There was also some reporting where they saw on Google Maps, Google Earth, whatever you want to call it, there was potentially a sign in the window that to support trans kids. I don't know if that's confirmed they can't get into his phone right now. It's all real strange. I will admit this is obviously, or at least it looks like, not some crazy, you know, lunatic leftist. This seems almost, almost like some type, I mean, you know, the kid is just a weirdo. This is not a normal situation. Because you would think based on the liberal rhetoric, you know, this would be someone who's like going out there, and maybe it is, we don't know. They, they won't, we, we, we don't have access to his phone no social media, which is just absurd for a kid to do this, to not have social media when most young people find out basically all of their news from social media, but this kid does not have any social media. Come on guys, really? We're going to believe that? The question is, it took so long to even identify him. It was like an hour and a half, two hours. Did things get scrubbed? What happened? Does he have an alt account? Maybe if they break into his phone, they'll be able to find things. Will it be able to immediately be revealed? These are all questions. The situation is still developing, but I'm just saying it strikes me more as kind of a weirdo, you know, type kid rather than this, I mean, you would think it'd be like this passionate, oh, I'm trying to save the country. Democrats are telling me Trump's this huge threat and they've been saying that for eight years, but this almost seems like something is off with this situation and this kid. It, it does. And again, we'll get the phone and maybe it'll be confirmed, but the liberal cope that he's somehow a Trump supporter, it, it's totally ridiculous. It, it's it's rage bait. Don't buy into it. It's absurd. You know, he's a Trump supporter. He just tried to kill Trump when Trump was up in all the polls. Yeah, no, 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 good. And then it's like, well, it's the rhetoric. He feels abandoned by Trump. Trump's literally the leader of the Republican Party. If he was a Republican back in, when he registered in 2021, he likes Trump. You don't register as a Republican, you know, with Trump in office or right after Trump leaves office and hate Trump to the point where you're going to kill him. None of this adds up. And I'm just saying we're in the dark right now. I'm trying to summarize everything, but that's really all I can say. And it was two minutes and, and the sniper was zoned in for two minutes, scoped in on crooks. 
People are, are, are speculating, saying he didn't want to accidentally shoot someone that, but I mean, the kid, listen, it's been, so this is the issue. This is the big problem. You're scoped in on him. Number one, Trump needs to be immediately removed off stage just for just safe and security. I mean, for security purposes, you know, even if it is just a t- random person up there, if there is someone on a, a roof right outside the premises that was already phoned in by security to say this kid's acting weird, this is just a rally. Just remove Trump. If it's the threat is safe, if it's someone just being weird going up there, that's whatever. Maybe it's a security person that wandered up there that shouldn't be up there. Bring Trump off the stage for a minute. Confirm everything's safe. Bring him back on. This is not hard. None of this is ridiculous. This does, you the way they acted. It's not proper in terms of protecting a former and potentially future and right now the presumptive Republican nominee. Worst case scenario, the kid they said was already reported at the entrance acting very weird, and and so so they're watching him and it's like. I mean, even Trump supporters saying he's on the roof. Two minutes, the dude's, you know, even if you're the Secret Service person, how are you not relaying, get Trump off the stage immediately. There's someone on the roof. I really can't get a good look. I don't know if they have a gun or not. There's people reporting saying this was the kid that that we were worried about earlier. Get Trump off the stage ASAP. It was two minutes. This kid did not go up there and just do a Superman 10 second scope and, and quick scope Trump. He was, he had to readjust several times. It's not like this kid's a crazy professional. I mean, obviously I'm sure he had practiced to get that close to where he would have killed Trump had Trump not moved. But I'm just saying, you're understanding there's no rationale behind the situation and the way that they acted in terms of protecting Trump at all. Especially when you hear the more context in the reports that this kid was already potentially a threat. So that's the update. We're going to see what's on his phone It is a very strange thing. All of this needs to be investigated, of course, but that's pretty much all I can say at this point. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.